The Alamance County Board of Education meeting with county commissioners trying to finalize funding that would help pay for mold cleanup. And all of this comes after mold was found at 17 schools within that single district. Louie Tran joins us live tonight from Burlington. Louie, was there any progress made today? Yeah, good afternoon, Christina Devante. Now, the district has confirmed that all school testing to address the mold issue has been done, but the results of those tests are still pending. And as of today, the first day of the school year is still planned for next Tuesday, September 5th. At today's meeting, Alamance Burlington School Systems confirms that five schools have toxigenic mold, 13 schools have been cleared, and 25 schools are going through remediation. Today, the district approved an additional $7 million, and that brings the total as of today to $17 million to address this issue. All school buildings are owned by the county, so the district gets funding through the county sales tax, property taxes, and lottery funding. District leaders stress that all schools will be cleaned, but it's going to take some time. We want to provide a safe and healthy learning environment for our students and our staff members to work in every single day. That's what we're working towards. Some of these issues have been uh, ongoing for many years, may have been overlooked, and we want to do something about it now. So that's where we are. That's the reality. And we're going to make sure that our students are in healthy learning environments. Now, district leaders tell me that there are about 2,000 contractors working on this issue and they will monitor this over the weekend and give parents an update before on Tuesday as well if plans change. In Burlington, I'm Louis Tran, WXII 12 News.